What's up everybody? Pal702 back today with a unregulated tube mod review. So what we're working with today is a tube mod. It has a MOSFET in it. It's made, manufactured out of Russia by a company called OLC for Stratum. I'm sure you've heard of those guys. It is called the Zero Prestige. I picked her up from Stratum right at the NVE booth. You can probably see it on the vlog, which I'll link that at the end of the review because Marjorie's NVE vlog was pretty fucking awesome. But I digress. What we're gonna do right about now is we're gonna go downtown. I'm gonna show you all around the Prestige Zero. We're gonna pop something on top that can test this low firing MOSFET. Listen to some excellent music, shout out to Russia. Pop back up, pros and cons, you know how we do it. And today it is the Stratum Zero and this is made, manufactured by OLC out of Russia. Now this is the Prestige. There's the Prestige, which is the highest model. Then you have the Elegance, and then you have something that starts with a C, the Classic. That's what it is, the Classic. This is the fully loaded one, so it's gonna come in this beautiful box. Nothing on it. Has a little hinge right there, and when you open her up, you will be greeted with a beautiful display of a, it's hard not to call it a mech tube because it's not. It's really an unregulated tube, but you have a beautiful tube mod and it, to the presentation on this is 10 out of 10 for me. All right, so Prestige, we're just gonna get this out of the way and go over the extras. And these extras only come with the Prestige and the elegance, which the elegance is the mid-level, prestige is the top level. Now with the prestige, you will get, to me, the reason why you would get the prestige or the elegance over the classic is because it comes with this guy right here. This is the battery cap that allows you to run a 21700 cell in here. So as you can see across the bottom right there in the middle, that is OLC's logo right there and it says vape manufacturer since 2014. And there's a shot inside. You can see the threading. This is going to be all highly brushed and polished aluminum. Once again, prestige only. If you go to anything lower than the prestige, you're only gonna have a matte finish and a satin finish. So here's the 21700 extension. And here is your top plate adapter. Now this guy right here, this is if you wanna run a 24 millimeter tank or RDA or RDTA on top, you can do that with the Prestige or with the Elegance. Um, the standard one just comes with the 21 or 22 millimeter top, which I'll show you that's on the actual tube. But once again, quick shot of the threads. Everything looks nice and clean. 24, I don't think I've ever used this. I don't think I've put anything 24. I just, I like to rock my 22s on this, but definitely worth it. And you get two of these right here. Not really sure where they go, but you get two of them. I mean, I could think of a few things you could do with them, but you have to be a little on the, uh, skinny side and you also get this right here which it's this is basically the exact material and size of the switch on this thing it says stratum zero and then on the back right there that little tiny 72 in the bottom corner there that's the serial number and then it just you know states which one that you purchased olc mosfet and here she is, this is the Prestige Zero. Now this right now is in 18650 configuration with a 22 millimeter top. So this is what the classic would look like minus this really nice brushed, polished 
uh, finish on top of here. Quick look around it. There's nothing else on the tube itself. And right here, there's that stratum, that same piece that came with the serial number on it. Um, there are differences on the other two as far as this part right here. The Prestige is the only one that kind of has that circular finish on it. Um, the other ones look a little bit different. Now this is a MOSFET. MOSFET. MOSFET on a tube, normally you would be thinking, eh, what the hell? But this isn't any ordinary MOSFET. First, let's just hear the, the switch. Nice and clicky. It's three clicks on, three clicks off. It does have low voltage protection. It shuts off uh, about 2.65 volts and it's going to have a 10 to 12, I think a 10 second. It's a 10 second puff cutoff time, just in case, you know, auto fires or whatever like that. After 10 seconds, it'll shut off. Also, reverse battery protection. So up top now, this is the 22 millimeter. It looks like a hybrid connection, but it's not. It's going into a MOSFET. So we'll just unscrew this. No different than the uh, 24 I showed you, just smaller. Nice threading, not crunchy, not squeaky. And what is that? What are those? <laughs> So what you have here, this is the OLC version two military grade MOSFET. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but for our purposes of vaping, the one thing that I'll tell you about this is it runs down to a 0 0.07. Most MOSFETs you're looking at 0.2. This goes down to a 0 0.07. Now don't ever fucking vape a 0 0.07. I don't endorse that on this channel. But as far as like, you know, if you want to put a, a mech build on there, you know, 0 0.15, 0 0.14, anything like that, you know, you're not going to have to worry about smoking your MOSFET. And this click right here, you can see where the switch actually hits the button on the MOSFET. So that is where the connection is made. And I sure as hell am not taking this MOSFET out. She's going to stay right there. Now to the base of the mod right here. This right here, this is for the 18650 only. Now we're going to take this off because we're not running 18650s in this. We are rolling 30 T's. So the, the 18650 actually bottom plate right here, or I don't know really what you want to call it because usually on a mech tube this would be the switch but I'll just call it the battery cap. So on the 18650 battery cap, you can see that it is not as deep as the 21700. And there is your proof right there, if you don't believe me. Like that. And then that really gives you an idea of the extra reach that you get with that 21700. So let's put this in 21700 configuration. All right, guys, time for fun with science. Let's see how long this thing is. Top to bottom, you're looking right around 80 millimeters. And the tube has body on it, so, you know, the circumference really isn't going to matter, but we'll just, we'll check it really quick. So about 25 and a half millimeters or so on the bottom. And this is the 22 millimeter top right here but this is coming in at the exact same exact same circumference right here to the bottom so from the bottom of the tube to right here before it kind of angles in identical and then you can just see on the body right there it just has a slight concave right there which makes it super nice to hold in your hand and once again you have that nice clicky military grade 0 0.07 MOSFET right there. Don't ever build a 0 0.07 build ever. Bad. So this is what it looks like with a 22 millimeter Skyline RTA on top right there, which this might be the sexiest combo of all times 
but I have not reviewed this yet. Fictitious character said I was scared to review it. We'll see. We'll see. And now that's the 24 millimeter top ring, top piece. And we have the 24 millimeter Alliance Tech Evo. Just like that. So 22s, 24s, if you have the prestige or the elegance, not gonna be a problem. Anything bigger than the 24, probably not gonna work out for you. This is it against the Dreamer, which is one of the smaller 21700 mechanical tubes. Obviously it's got the, the Arden on top, you know, with the, the hybrid direct connection, but you can see right here, this is where the Dreamer stops. So you have a 21700 capable right here, 21700 capable right here. Um, the size alone on this thing is uh, it's it's a massive win. The fact that that small tube will take a 30T or a 40T is it's pretty badass. And that's basically it. That's the Stratum Prestige Edition Zero by OLC. And one last quick look around this. I mean, the size on this, it's just hard to explain. I mean, I know it's because there's no switch in the bottom. The fact that it's got a, a MOSFET firing up top right there, you don't have to have a spring and a whole entire switch assembly. That truly saves this, uh, saves so much space on here. But overall, the machining, the way that it's put together, I mean, I love how this is cut out here, here, across here. Uh, it, it all just, to me, this looks fucking spot on absolutely gorgeous and with that we are going to test this russian mosfet with this beauty right here this right here would be the jenna by mr j hayes shout out to jay we are going to put some some nasty wire in right there this is a fused ni90 26 gauge core with 36 on the wrap yeah i can't use the, i can barely use this dual coil because it comes in so low but it's perfect for single coil so i'm hoping to get somewhere around like a 0 0.14 0 0.15 off the build hit it Я салям, жаном 
Selamut gelisem ölüm, sin bir kilisem verem, sin karisem kurem, canım selam, canım selam, sin oylisem ölüm, sin aşasam yamba, sin koşasam taba. And that was some badass Russian music that I found on YouTube. The, it'll be in the description, but you should watch the video because it's fucking hilarious. But we're not here for that. We are here for the Stratum Zero Prestige by OLC out of Russia. Sitting on top, we have Mr. Jay Hayes' Jenna. About a 0.16 build, 0.17 build. We have a fully charged 30T vape cell rewrap. Little taffy splash in there as always. Let's take it for a rip. So what we're gonna do right about now, we're gonna do pros and cons. We're gonna start off with the cons, end on the pros, because around here, we always end on a positive note. Cons on the Stratum Zero Prestige by OLC out of Russia. I don't have any, I really don't. I mean, the only thing, the only thing that I've noticed, and this is just because I'm a mechanical tube vaping son of a bitch, is that a lot of times when I go to fire this thing, I go right here, which is understandable. I mean, I'm always searching for this instead of this guy right here. So it, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you get used to it, I mean the fire button, it's uh, this thing fires so fucking fast. It ramps up and fires so fast. This military grade mosfet like whatever mosfet this is am i going into pros already yeah i'm just gonna roll into pros this mosfet it hits i don't know if it hits harder than a mech i don't know if it like it, i i don't fully know if if that's possible but it feels like it hits harder than if this was a 21700 mech with a 0.17 build on it it ramps up immediately and it Hooks. So the Russian V2 MOSFET by OLC, huge pro. I recommend everybody that uses MOSFETs in their mod, just go buy the ones from OLC because you're never gonna have to worry about frying them. If you fry it with something that goes down to a 0 0.07, then you're kind of a dipshit. So pro on the MOSFET. Next pro is the looks. The looks on this, the lines on it, the body on the actual tube, even the switch, how it comes up and it has those cuts on each side of the switch and then it almost like with this seam right here, it makes it look like a T. I think that that looks just badass. Next pro, size. The, by far, this is the smallest 21700 tube I own. And I, I know that's because it doesn't have a switch or any switch assembly on the bottom like that. But having the MOSFET at the top like this and the switch at the top, I mean, I don't know if you can make a 21700 any smaller than this. Next pro, if you buy the Prestige or the Elegance, the Elegance, the Elegance, yes, the Elegance, you get the 18650 bottom, so you can cut this down to an 18650, make it even smaller, and then you get the 24 millimeter top, so you can run 24s, and you also get the 22 and the 21700. So my advice, the classic is, well, we'll get to price in a minute, but the classic is just 18650 with a 22 on the top and that's it. So I would spend the extra money and get the elegance or the prestige. Prestige is the only one you're gonna get though that's gonna be this shiny. It's the only one that's the polished aluminum like this. All the other ones are matte, matte finish and satin finish, which are cool finishes if, you, if that's your thing, like Ultim's my thing and stuff like that. No judgment here, none at all. Next pro, it's this thing hits like a mechanical tube, but it has safety on it. It has low voltage, it has reverse uh, polarity protection, it has a uh, 10 second cutoff. I mean, it has all of the protections. You know, I, I 
I don't build below a 0 0.07, so I don't know if it fire, you know, I don't know if it's gonna fry it or whatever. But you should never build below a 0 0.07 because that's just not cool, man. Just don't do it. But 0 0.07 makes it nice especially if you're working with stainless steel coils because even if you're doing a 0 0.11 0 0.12 on a stainless steel a lot of times when you glue your coils it goes south and it'll get like 0 0.09 0 0.08 but after they're strummed and everything's evened out then the resistance bumps back up another pro on this is going to be running rtas yes i said rtas this thing is perfect to run an rta on like when i do do the skyline review fictitious character you can bet your sweet ass is gonna be on the zero for sure. Price, what everyone's waiting for is price. What will the prestige zero, the straight and prestige zero by OLC out of Russia cost you? I paid $300 at NBE. If you go to Stratum site, which I will link right here because those are the gentlemen I bought it from, David and Vitaly, fucking cool ass people. $300. The next level down is the Elegance, which comes with all of this, except for the finish isn't gonna be as polished as this. That's uh, two, I wanna say 280, so it's only $20 less than this, I would suggest. Well, that one's fine, because it comes with all the extras and stuff like that. And then the Classic, that one is 220, and that's just, uh, if you're just into 18650s, and 22 millimeters, which is totally cool, then 220 for that one. All right, so that is it. That is all that I have for you on this beautiful Prestige Zero. So massive shout out to Vitaly and David over at Stratum. It was super cool meeting both you guys. Well, I met Vitaly at the one here in Vegas, but meeting David, super cool meeting you at uh, NVE. Massive shout out to you guys because you're the baddest motherfuckers on YouTube and I swear by this I don't know what's going on in your world today But I do know it's Wednesday. It's not a wee Wednesday, but that's next Wednesday But until that glorious wee Wednesday comes around here with probably the smallest 21 700 tube you'll ever see and one of the sexiest ones you'll ever see. It is definitely all of. And I'll catch you guys on Friday.